Hey guys, it is my face story here and as you can see, I'm in a different room look, trying to see what this looks like. But today I'm basically just talking about my summer skincare routine and all of the non-toxic great products that I have switched to. And also I have not been wearing any makeup so I can't make any non-toxic makeup recommendations just yet. But when I figure some out, I will definitely let you guys know. So the first thing that is non-toxic that I want to talk about is my cleanser. And I'm using two different ones right now. I'm using the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Cleanser, which is non-toxic and this is completely organic. Um, I didn't think it was going to work at all. My friend kept recommending it to me and recommending it to me. And I was like, no dude, like I'm not gonna put that on my face. Like it has shea butter in it. I feel like that's not good. Um, but it works super well and it's only $5. So, I mean, it's worth a try. And it kind of smells nice too. Um, so it does have shea butter. It has African black soap and then it has a couple different essential oils in it. Non-toxic, really great product. And a good way to check the toxicity of your product, which I have been telling you guys on my Instagram, is to look at the Think Dirty app. The Think Dirty app will tell you every single thing that is in a product and things like if it has carcinogens in it, um, if it affects your hormones, your reproductive health, like all that stuff. So. That was one of the cleansers I use. And honestly, I didn't like it the first couple of times I tried it because it is like super drying to your skin. Um, but I use it at night and then I use like an oil afterwards. So it kind of balances out. Um, but I do go back and forth between the African black soap and the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Facial Cleanser. And this one's also a really good one too. And this one is, I don't think, mm, I don't think it's organic, but I know that's all natural. It doesn't have any parabens, um, no sulfates, no phylates. Sorry, there's like a fly in here. Um, nothing like that. And it is 100% like vegetarian ingredients. So yeah, I really like this one a lot too. And this one smells like, like papaya extract. Um, Definitely like more fruity scent, but it still works well. And it doesn't, this one doesn't leave your face drying at all. And this one is uh, non-toxic. So after I wash my face, sometimes depending on um, if I got like a lot of like bumpiness or texture going on, I will use an astrogen, but other times I won't. Um, but the two that I use, I use witch hazel, which is really good. This is all natural. Um, and this will help, it helps me with cystic acne, honestly. It helps reduce like the inflammation and the size if you just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad and then apply it topically to the area. And I think this is like five bucks too. Um, but this is, yeah, it says it's good for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, good for sensitive skin, the cleanser. I think that this one is. My friend that uses this is actually on Accutane, so her skin is like super sensitive. Um, so yeah, I think it would be good for sensitive skin. This one I'm not sure because it does have kind of like a scent in it and I don't know if that would really irritate your skin or not, you know. So this one I wouldn't recommend, but the other one I think it would be fine. So besides witch hazel, the other toner I like to use, which I will like mix it with this and dilute it a little bit with water, is the apple cider vinegar from Bragg's. And if you do get this one, you wanna get the one with the mother, the raw and filtered, because that is the stuff that basically works. That's the stuff that like does the job for you. Um, so apple cider vinegar is really good at just like evening your skin tone, the texture, and it also balances the pH. You can get this soap bar, um, I think Ulta sells it. If you don't have an Ulta by you, Target is also sells it. That's where I got mine. And Kroger's probably sells it as well. If you don't have Kroger, then I don't know. <laughs> um, but like one of those places should have it or just like a health food store like Whole Foods would probably have this. And then also with apple cider vinegar too, uh, you can drink it as well, but you wanna make sure that you dilute it with water, maybe like one teaspoon in like a whole glass of warm water. Um, and that will really help like your digestive system as well. And to moisturize, I use a couple of different things. So during the day, I go back and forth depending on how dry my skin is. Um, I will use this and all, everything that I'm mentioning is non-toxic. So I feel like I should stop saying that's non-toxic. It's all non-toxic, it's all safe for you. 
Um, none of it messes with your hormones, none of it has carcinogens, it's all good, natural, organic. Um, so this is the Andalou Naturals Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Lotion. Here we go, age defined. This is more of like a lightweight lotion and I've been using this for years, so I just really like it. Um, it doesn't make my face greasy throughout the day and it's not like super heavy. Pretty much what it says on here, sheer lightweight formula, comfortable for every day. And it has fruit stem cells and bioactive eight berry complex to defend against UV and environmental damage. So I really like this one. This one is the one I use like most days, but if I am feeling a little bit dry during the day, I'll use a couple of drops of the aloe vera oil from Banish. And this basically just does, I mean, what aloe vera does. <laughs> Helps with redness, it'll help kind of with the texture a little bit, and it'll give you like a nice glow. And that's what I used today, because um, I was feeling like a little bit dry. And then at night, I go back and forth again between, oh, I should probably say, this was, this lotion I think is $10, um, and this one I'm pretty sure is $15. And at night, I go back and forth between Desert Essence, organic jojoba oil. Um, girl, girl. If you don't know about jojoba oil, you need to get on it, hunty. It's so good. So basically, it's the closest oil, or the closest thing that mimics your skin's natural um, sebum and like the production of oil. So when you apply this, it actually makes your skin like stop creating as much oil. So I like to use this as night, kind of like a treatment, um, just like a thin layer over my face and then I'll wash it off in the morning. And I really do think it helps with uh, oil production. And you can use it, you know, if you don't like it on your face, if you get it and you don't like it, you can use it on your hair too. Um, and like the rest of your body as well. But yeah, I really love jojoba oil. I think it's awesome. And if you have like essential oils like tea tree oil or lavender oil or anything like that that you wanna to apply topically but you feel like it's too strong, you can dilute it with a little bit of jojoba oil first. And so yeah, I use that at night and this is vegan as well. It has the bunny on it. And I think this is like $5. And then the other thing I use is the vitamin C cream from Vanish. And this you can use like during the day or night. I used to use it during the day all the time, but then I wanted the the moisturizer, I hate that word, the lotion that had SPF in it, so that's why I started using this one. Um, but this one's really, really good. I feel like every time I use this overnight, I wake up and my skin just looks like flawless, like plump. Um, I really love this. Uh, I don't make it anymore, unfortunately, but I've heard rumors that maybe, maybe, maybe it might be coming back, so maybe. The best. I love this. I love it. Spot treatment. So that's next. So that's the cleansers, toners, moisturizers, spot treatment. So right now I'm only using two different essential oils. I'm using lavender oil and tea tree oil. And this tea tree oil is from the body shop. Um, it's not the best. It Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's diluted. Yeah, it's only 15% tea tree oil. Um, if I could go back and get like 100%, I would. But this... Let's see. Yeah, I still got a lot left in here, so I'll probably use this and then go back and try another brand. But I do really like this. I think tea tree oil works really well. Um, I think this works better at like little whiteheads and spots like that. And I think lavender oil works better with dealing with cysts. Um, and with the lavender oil, which is weird, I always make sure like I'll rub it into a spot I have, like massage it in, and in, in the morning, you can totally tell that it looks less inflamed and pretty much gone. So yeah, these are the only spot treatments I'm using right now. And I feel like they work really, 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 really well. Basically my favorite mask combo to use is this Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay with the Activated Charcoal Clay Mask. Sorry, I have to keep like reading everything because I'm like, what is in my hands? Um, this one is 100% natural benetite clay. This one is activated charcoal, and when they're together, it's like, boom. It's so good. Um, I use this mask probably like once every two weeks, and this is, I feel like, when your skin just feels like it needs to be uh, refreshed, like a deeper, deeper clean than normal clean. Do you know what I mean? Like you need that deep, deep clean. That's what this is for. Um, and I got this off Amazon, I think like, 
five, 10 bucks maybe. I'm not sure how much this is. I think it was like 20 bucks. I could be wrong. Um, but I mixed these with apple cider vinegar because I feel like it gives it like the nice thick like pasty texture. Um, it's also like foamy and it definitely gets deeper into your pores. You can feel this one, it pulsates on your face because it's like drawing out all the oil and impurities. It's crazy, it's cray cray girl, it's cray cray. Um, but yeah, you don't need like much of this at all. Like literally one teaspoon, like of both of these, like half teaspoon, half teaspoon equal to amount of apple cider vinegar. So one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of these, bam, you're set. So that's the one I like to use for like deep cleansing, oil, minimizing pores, um, that sort of thing. The one I like to use to exfoliate is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask from Banish, which is this one. And this is probably like my all time favorite exfoliating mask. It smells so good. It smells like pumpkin pie. Um, but it has pumpkin fruit in it, organic bilberry fruit, organic sugar cane, organic orange, organic lemon peel, and other things like rosemary leaf extract, cinnamon bark, ginger root, nutmeg. So this is really good. This is definitely a clean beauty product. Um, and I just love it. I mean, it smells amazing. It's a vegan, it's cruelty free. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell like after this mask, your skin is glowing for sure. Definitely a glowing mask. I like to do this in the mornings too, if I can, if I have a little bit extra time, because it kind of makes your face just look all day looks like that all day and then a new mask that i just recently got i got it because it was on sale at target tarjay i love tarjay um is this the sw basics simplify your skincare has three ingredients in it it's a hibiscus mask um so all that's in it is horbiscus hibiscus, hibiscus oops french green clay and organic lavender it smells amazing. It's kind of like a reddish purple color on your skin. And yeah, I like it so far. It definitely is an exfoliating mask because it burns when you put it on. Um, I would not say that this is for sensitive skin at all. It burns, it literally burns. Um, but yeah, this is definitely like more exfoliating mask. Um, what was I saying about the apple cider vinegar? Um, so this basically, you can take it internally, internally or you can use it topically externally so you could use it um, people have seen results both ways like with their skin taking it one teaspoon and like eight ounces of warm water in the morning it's supposed to like kickstart your digestive system and help cleanse your body of any toxins stuff like that um, but also my Instagram is my face story yeah that's me um, but also you can use it topically as well so I use this with this so like half of this, half of this, or one quarter of this, one quarter of this, and then half water, and a couple of drops of tea tree oil, and then that is like my DIY toner. This also, so it balances your pH level of your skin, and it'll help to uh, remove like the hyperpigmentation red marks. Doesn't really help as much with texture, but definitely helps with red marks. So I haven't really switched to any uh, makeup yet, because I just haven't been wearing any. And honestly, I feel like, since I stopped wearing it, my skin has gotten better. And then after looking into the app too, um, the app I was talking about earlier is called Think Dirty. Um, it tells you how toxic all of your products are. Basically like the beauty industry is like the most unregulated industry in the world and they can put whatever they want in their products and they're actually allowed to label it whatever too. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of like greenwashing, um, but it's when a brand acts like they're like organic or natural, like they'll put that on the label, but the ingredients won't be organic or natural at all. And yeah, that's like an actual thing and it's kind of scary that they're allowed to do that. But Banish is organic and natural and all their ingredients are really good, so love them. But yeah, so I haven't been wearing any makeup and I really do feel like it has helped my skin. I know it's not like everyone's situation, but I have noticed that I get like less breakouts and if I do, like they're smaller. So I really do think it's been beneficial for me. You tag me in an IG post, girl, I'll have to check it out. I have been like not on IG lately cause I've been kind of busy, but I am really happy that you're going more natural route. I 
basically, I feel like it was just like one thing led to another, led to another, led to another, because I st obviously started my account as like Accutane. I was like all pro Accutane. And then once my acne came back, then I was like pro natural because I realized making diet changes for me, I know not for everyone, but for me it did help. And after diet changes, I was like, well, what else could I change? Like, oh, I didn't realize that there's all these things in your skincare, not just your skincare, but like hair care items, lotion, like I had no clue that they were allowed to put stuff like that, like carcinogens and all this toxic stuff into your beauty products. I just figured, you know, they sell it on the shelves, like it must be safe, like everyone's buying it, everyone's using it. But the thing is, we're all genetically different and not everyone's body is going to be able to like handle that or process it the same way. So I definitely think switching to a more natural approach has helped me. I'm glad it's helping you too, girl. I mean, I've been pretty much using the same-ish products for a while. The only thing new are the cleansers. I was using the Neutrogena one, um, but I looked it up and it had like terrible, it was like a level 10 toxic, which is like the worst. So I stopped using it. I was like, oh God, oh God, that's bad. But I'm glad I was able to find something like semi-fast that I feel like works just as well. So I can see like the messages on the page while I'm also getting comments. And someone just said who made Banish and I don't know if you're talking to me or talking to the messages. So I will let you know. Um, oh, that lighting's way better. I should just leave my hand here. Hey girl. Um, Daisy made Banish. If you guys don't know Daisy's story, she had really bad acne growing up and she had tried basically everything and she was going to get, um, you know, more abrasive scar treatment and then she heard about like microneedling and then she started her own company. So yeah, she's pretty awesome. I love Daisy. A fellow acne sufferer. Oh, I just got another question. What does Banish do? So Banish can help with acne and acne scars. For me, the only thing that's helped with my acne, obviously Accutane, but it did end up coming back. Um, diet changes and then using all natural skincare is what's helped. Um, but Banish more helps me with my acne scars more than my acne. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like for me the biggest thing that controls my acne personally is hormones and blood sugar level and stress. So those three things, hormones, blood sugar, and stress. Um, yeah, so I feel like with the blood sugar and the hormones, having like the low GI diet, the low glycemic index diet that I've been doing has helped a ton because it keeps your blood sugar level just like stable throughout the entire day. And with stress, I've been working out. So goodbye, Felicia, stress be gone. I feel like also with um, acne, I've had to learn that it's, like it is a chronic disease. So sometimes it might be way better and sometimes it might be way worse. But for most people, from what I've read and understand, it never completely goes away. So it's something that you do have to learn how to live with and to control it. Like don't ever expect to cure it, to think that, oh, this one thing is gonna cure it. Like you can control it, but you have to always treat your body like you're acne prone because it's in your DNA, it's in your genetics. So. Just some food for thought that I've had to learn the past like, two or three years. Because for a long time, I was always looking for like that one miracle product that was like, oh, this is going to like cure my acne. Like I won't have acne anymore. But really you're just controlling it. Because sometimes, you know, you're still gonna get like a pimple or two. Don't ever, I have learned for myself at least to learn that it's not ever going to completely go away. And that's fine, who cares, whatever. Like, I'm not looking at my own face, except for right now, <laughs> you know? It's other people looking at my face, not me, so why would I care? Bye. This also says that it's good for sensitive skin. So I think everything I have is good for sensitive skin um, because I guess my skin is sensitive, so. Um, I'm looking at most of it, and a lot of it has the bunny on it, which means it's vegan, so that's cool. I guess just to recap then, I'll go through all my products that I'm using again, just, just cause. Um, African Black Soap by Shea Moisture, Biz Bay, smells amazing, African Black Soap, Shea Butter, which again I said I didn't think I would ever want to put on my face, but it actually does work, and some oats that you can see, and essential oil. And I just get this wet, and then I rub it on my hands, and rub it on my face. That's it. And then I switch back between that one and this one 
by Alba Botanica. <clears throat> this is the Hawaiian Facial Cleanser Pineapple Enzyme. And then to tone, I either use this apple cider vinegar or this, which hazel, or together with water and a little bit of tea tree oil. Daily moisturizer, I use Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell or the aloe vera oil from Banish. Nighttime moisturizer, I use Desert Essence Jojoba Oil, which is also Bay, and the Vitamin C Cream, which is also Bay. They're all Bay. And then spot treatment, tea tree oil by Body Shop, but I'm probably gonna get a different tea tree oil next time because this one's only 15%, which I feel like is not very strong. And then lavender essential oil. And then masks, I use the SW Basics Hibiscus Mask, which only has three ingredients, so it's like super natural and super simple. And then I use pumpkin enzyme mask, which is good for exfoliating. The Natural Calcium Benetite Clay Mask, Aztec Secret, along with activated charcoal clay masks from Banish together with apple cider vinegar is bomb. And it's like really deep oil cleaning and all that good stuff. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. You guys want to check out my Instagram. It is my face story. I've been trying to post um, different low GI recipes I've been eating as well as, you know, just working out and taking a more holistic approach to acne and my lifestyle. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hopefully this was helpful and you learned something and Bye. Thanks.